This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, honey! I can't believe that was Satoko smoothing it over. That's nuts. Wow. In the end, my selfish request was readily granted. As Satoko muttered complaints under her breath, quite merrily, she came up to me to the store. Reika-chan did not come up with us. She said she had a thing she wanted to do, or something. I believed her when she told me, but when I really thought about it, I started to think maybe she was being considerate towards Satoko in her own way. Without Rika-chan here, Satoko was prouder and more <laughs> loquacious than ever. Ooh, supermarket time! Oh, we should we should switch over to <laughs> the third style <laughs> if we're just with Satoko. Savvy little girl, Satoko. Yes, that is genius. That's that's a good quality to have. No, being savvy when it comes to buying stuff. You you can take like in the right hands, you can take the same amount of money and get way more out of it. I wasn't really listening to her, but she was telling me all of this quite proudly. Every time I learned, I seemed surprised at something or made an affirmative grunt in the place of conversation, Satoko would say, You don't know anything, do you, Keiichi-san? And smile very happily in spite of her complaints. She led me to by the hand to all sorts of stalls, one after the other. She was in such a supreme mood that just being with her cheered me up. Merely being pulled into Satoko's pace was a lot of fun. Oi, why don't we just buy wholesale? Oh, cheese Yep. Satoko pushed a handful of receipts in my face. Why can't Satoko do these kinds of mental calculations when she's at school? さあ、ノーマルは払いっぱいたくさん買うか。ワンランク色チーズ入りを包ましく買うか。これはかなり悩む。大人しく量を取りなさいませ。年頃の男の方は質より量を取った方が賢明でしたよ。いや。さあ、
She stammered for a second. Satoko had been prepared for me to start making fun of her right then, too. And when it didn't come, she was surprised. Or maybe she stammered for some other reason. I don't know. But I immediately knew she wasn't feeling anything bad. As Satoko and I rode back on our bikes, I had a thought. Was I this sort of person? Until now, I would have lashed back at Satoko right away if she did something to me. Yes, that was the kind of relationship we had. We would poke at each other a little, then kick up a storm while nitpicking at one another. At some point, that had changed. We weren't playing our usual tit-for-tat. I didn't provoke her, so we didn't fight. That went for Satoko, too. Satoko, who I thought I knew, hadn't been like this until now. Our relationship was changing, little by little. That's what it felt like. But it wasn't something I had to worry about. It was like our relationship had become a little bit happier, a little bit more charming. I wonder why we changed like this. Was she lonely and projecting her older brother Satoshi, who hadn't returned home, onto me? Rika-chan told me about that yesterday. That was probably exactly it. So, as my actions drew closer to Satoshi's, Satoko was returning to how she'd been back when she was living happily with her brother. In other words, this was Satoko was the real Satoko. Satoko had been unable to see her bro had been able to see her brother again, and had finally gone back to normal. Now that I had been playing the role of her brother, I discovered that she really could smile so sweetly. But I wasn't Satoshi Hojo. I was Keiji Maibara, a totally different person. I couldn't become her brother, yes. I could come close, but I could never really get there. That was vaguely somehow a little sad. I was wearing Satoshi's mantle and that would have to come off one day. And that would doubtlessly put an end to this meager, nostalgic, peaceful time of Satoko's. A limited tranquility. A tranquility that would end one day. Putting it in, it in those terms, it really was sad. I shook my head firmly to dr and drove off those pointless thoughts. Nagging like always, but she still seemed really happy. That mood of hers drew me in, putting a smile on my own face. Hey, Keiichi Maibara, why don't we quit thinking about this having to end one day? If it will, then just think about it when it happens. There was one thing, however, that I could say for sure. As long as I smiled like this, Satoko's own smile would never wane. So long as I stay this way, the tranquility would never end. Satoshi would come back one day, too. That might happen a lot further away than I'd like, but... Until that day, what's wrong with me being a replacement for him? Saying that I'm not a real brother, so I can't become Satoshi, that was just an excuse. If I didn't just... If I just didn't run away, Satoko would stay happy and live a fun life of annoyed nitpicking. Uh, seems weird. I don't know what happened to Satoshi, or what made him abandon Satoko and run away. But just seeing Satoko in such a good mood made me think I could persevere as long as I wanted and needed to. So this is what I thought. I wouldn't become Satoshi. I would become a replacement brother. That's kind of weird. Don't recommend that. So, so. I was looking for such a good food. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, okay, stop with the flattery. <laughs><笑>そんなに焦って食べなくても、ご飯は逃げませんのよ。いや、逃げるぞ。できたて、ほやほやの最高の味はできた瞬間からどんどん逃げていくんだ。さとこが客を美味しく作ったものなら、俺
looking at her really made me happy as well. The time passed softly and gently. Before, I would have gone back and forth hurling insults of Satoko. In other words, we would have gotten into a fight right away. I'd never even known I couldn't feel such a peace of mind by talking to her honestly like this. I was a little bit happy about having discovered this new side of Satoko. For example, I was eating food that Satoko had made. There wasn't an inch of me that thought it was suspicious. Before, however, Satoko would have definitely put some sort of a trap into this. Yeah, TMI. Satoko looked down, her face bright red, and pointed down the hallway as if to say, Just go already! Whoops, my old habits seem to have come back. I somehow ended up at the refrigerator. Guess I better eat more food! <laughs> but, yeah. This wasn't all that bad either. No weird schemes. Everything is just natural. The toilet better not be in the kitchen, because that's weird. And while having such utterly unguarded thoughts, I went into the bathroom. Oh, it's just en route. My foot caught on something stream-like. Huh? Yakan? <laughs> She got me. I can't believe her. She always does this when I let my guard down. I can't relax for a minute around her. Still, it was kind of funny, and I didn't really feel like getting angry. You just screamed, Satoko! Satoko laughing uproariously came over. This is the fake sidekick. I picked up the wash tubs that had crashed into my head and went to go hit Satogo with it. But then I doubled back over with laughter that had been welling up within me, and so I couldn't manage it. I wish things could go on forever like this. It's not like I was having the most fun since coming to Hinamizawa or anything, but it was probably the first time that I'd spent my day so simply and comfortably. It really wasn't worth much. It was only a few hours, after all. As an only child, it was my first taste of having a sibling. Just washing dishes with her felt really nice. Side by side, we washed, with the experienced Satoko doing most of the work, as I threw in inappropriate words to add to the conversation. The scene was so commonplace, and yet so mild and warm. Maybe I had felt this kind of warmth before, too, in the past. I think I've stood next to the sink with my mother like this when I was little. It made me feel nostalgic when I remembered it. It was the same sort of slow, easy time. It was tranquil. Such a quiet tranquility that the fact that I wasn't uneasy about anything itself almost made me uneasy. Hey, wait, Keiichi Maibara. You feel uneasy about something just from spending time so leisurely? There's nothing at all to feel uneasy about. I mean, why would I be punished for enjoying a gentle life? It's a horror game, that's why. I'd do anything to keep these days going, and I would never do anything bad, no matter what. Uh-huh. I work hard for it and endure much for it. So God, it's not much of a dream to want this kind of thing to keep going, but can't you grant it? Maybe it's dad. I hadn't noticed until she mentioned it. I hurried to stand up and then ran to the phone. Who could it be at a time like this? I did feel a little like the phone had interrupted my happy moment, but I still wanted to brag about how happy the time I was spending made me, no matter who it was on the other side. It better not be Shion going crazy again. It's mom! That was a little cold of me, when she was only calling because she was worried about her son. I couldn't help but give myself a dry smile. <laughs> no, no, that's okay, I got this middle school girl to come over and make food for me. <laughs> Keiichi, are you kidding me? <laughs> Funny you should mention that. By the way, Mom, uh, do we have fire insurance on the house? Why? <laughs> ケイシュウ、<笑><笑> 
<laughs> she's not mentioning the fact that it was actually a middle school girl who did this. All of that was thanks to Satoko and not something I should be proud of. But still, I couldn't help but want to boast about the dinner tonight. It seemed like Mom got the hint that I was in a really good mood. Why did my parents coming home seem so disappointing? I knew a little bit of the reason, of course. This tranquility I never wanted to end was about to end so readily, and it was a little painful. After being asked what kind of souvenir I wanted from Tokyo and replying that anything edible would be great, I put down the receiver. As the Tokyo appeared having finished cleaning up her trap, Keiichi and I are sometimes kindred spirits. At first, the Tokyo was in a very good mood, but then she saw me put down the receiver with an uncertain expression and her own clouded over a bit. It seemed like she'd gotten the gist of what my phone conversation had been about. I mean, my mom and dad pulled all-nighters, so if you wanted to make them dinner too, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Her brother Satoshi running away from home came to mind immediately, but there was no gloom in the way she said it. Satoko momentarily made a happy smile, but then a second later it changed to an expression of surprise. <laughs> That's okay, I can clean it. <laughs> Satoko shook her head firmly, her whole body expressing denial. それによれ、it was so like Satoko to take this chance to proclaim that it was all for my sake. But there was no way to conceal her own enthusiasm. It was true that this gentle time would come to an end when my parents got back. There was no need to lament that, though. I can easily put in the effort to continue our mild moments like this. Like yesterday, Satoko told me that she didn't need to be escorted home. But Rika-chan wasn't with her tonight. She would be going home by herself. Everyone knew everyone else's face here in Hinamizawa. So it wasn't like it was dangerous to go out at night, but it still wasn't good to send a girl on her way all alone. At the very least, that's what I thought as Satoko's older brother. I like the lighting that they do on it. That's really nice. That's a nice touch. Um, that's not how that works, Satoko. There was no point in pressing her anymore on the subject, so I took a handful of Satoko's hair and rubbed her head vigorously. Hey, Satoko! Gocha gocha yura! I thought... Your nini will bring you part of the way there. That's what I was about to say when I suddenly got embarrassed and my voice trailed off. Nini could only be the nickname Satoko gave to her old brother, and nothing else. I was about to use it pretty lightly, so I started to feel apologetic and a little ashamed. Nini? Eh? What did Satoko just say? Ah,えっと、ケイチさんが兄みたいに見えただけですわ。その、今の言い方、全然違うけど、どこか雰囲気が似てましたもので、つい… I, I, I get what they're trying to do here. They're trying to make it this, like, wholesome, like, hey, he's kind of taking on this older brother role. But also, to me, it seems weird, because, like, she didn't really ask him to do this. And this is only, like, how it happened over the course of two days. So, it seems 
Still seems very weird and pretty rushed, but like I get what they're trying to do. <laughs> so Toka laughed awkwardly and turned red in the face. Of course, I was embarrassed when I saw her, too, because the fact that I was trying to act like her brother had gotten across. A warm feeling spread out from my chest. It was completely different from romantic feelings, or any of those more impatient emotions. It was much more graceful, quiet, and warm, and calm. Satoko still needed her Nini. I had initially thought Rika-chan was being sly by not coming today, but when I thought about it like this, I could feel a kind of thoughtfulness of her worrying about a good friend's feelings. Maybe Rika-chan had understood that she couldn't play the part of a brother herself. So then... No, let's stop there, Keiji Maibara. There's no point in thinking about it so hard. It means everyone feels the same way. It means everyone wants Satoko to be happy. Satoko's actu acting as though her Nini running away from home didn't bother her at all, even though that wasn't actually the case. She was very sad, and always waiting for him to come home. Because Satoko was a stable person when she was his sister. In order for her to really be this level-headed, having a brother was something she couldn't do without. In other words, Satoko still needed a brother. Nobody had the right to smile it away as childish immaturity. In fact, they deserved praise for being so close to each other as siblings. That role of brothers should be played by her real Nini, by Satoshi, but unfortunately he wasn't here. So since I'm here, I'll play the part. And not with a guilty conscience, but in a very natural way. Because... Was there something wrong with seeing Satoko smile so happily? The sound of the motor on her bike light was too loud and I couldn't hear what Satoko said. She has a motor on her bike? Dane. What? What did you say? No. I don't know. I need a baseball bat. Once I said that, I thought for a moment that it was absolutely the wrong thing to say, but Satoka didn't seem to mind one bit. As I was flustered for a moment at her hitting the mark, Satoko suddenly asked me a question in a calm voice. It was a very quiet, composed, and an adult question. It was quiet, but her voice sounded lonely somehow. She's like, I heard you got. You guys were talking about it in the living room. The kitchen is right there. <laughs> I could say for sure that at least was a lie. Yesterday and today, Satoko had been so happy spending time like this with me as siblings. And that was proof itself that she was lying about it not getting to her. So I gave Satoko a light poke in the head. <laughs> Despite her saying that, her expression seemed a little lonesome. At this point, Satoko herself had realized that her question had been the wrong thing to say. We didn't need to keep talking about something that Satoko regretted. So in order to cut that conversation short, I grabbed Satoko's head and pet her. That's weird. もう遅いからちょっとと帰って歯を磨いて寝ろ。ついてたから寝る前にうがいもしとけ。風の予防になっていいぞ。That what? Is not kind of siblings Satoko and Satoshi were. I'd never seen them together, but I could say without a doubt that they were really close. As for the way in which they were close, it was probably quite like this. It was so cool that the day's heat seemed like a lie, and yet the moonlight was somehow faintly warm. 
The quiet chorus of the insects was pleasing to the ears. The cry of the Higarashi. New tips unlocked. Satoko's trap course, 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 immediate, intermediate. Trials and tribulations. A clear conscience wins the day. Hey, that's a great game, by the way. Let's look at the intermediate course. I could see Tomita-kun and Okamura-kun walking over to the gym storehouse. They needed to get the bag of lime used to make the lines on the court for our next gym class. They were on duty today, after all. But, in that storehouse, a terrible trap was awaiting them. The two of them fumbled around the gym storehouse's lock. Oh? What's this? Okamura-kun pointed at part of the door and started whispering to Tomita-kun. And then, realizing something, they both jumped away from the door. Alright. According to Sasoko, after they noticed the suspicious trap on the door, they would go around and try to get through the back window. And just as she'd prophesied, they went around to the back. And just as she prophesied, they climbed up, opened the window, and tried to sneak in. Did she set up a bomb? An explosion of pure white lime burst out the window. After a few moments, the two of them managed to crawl away from the window, both of them completely white. いや、しかし、よく書かったよな。あんな器用なトラップ。富田君がまどを登るとき、どこに手を置いて、どこに足を置くかとか、どこへ飛び降りるとか、そういうのを全部読まなくちゃ、絶対に書かれないぞ。う
れはなこれだえっ、うわっ、なにをするでございますの Satoko wanted to make sure I picked the losing one, which meant that all three of these were losing ones. Yep. I flip all three cards face up, and on each one, there's a single word. You're a loser. She predicted we would pick all three. つまりはそういうこと。一枚しか取らなかったなら、外れにはならなかったということですわ。ああ、that's pretty good. ええー、だあ。whoops <laughs>。to be fair、if we had also picked the one that said loser、she probably would have been like that counts。I held my head in my hands as and fainted as Satoko reveled in the might of her abilities。her shrill laughter echoed across the classroom。And then there was a proof as the lime powder came upon Satoko's head. I looked to see Tomita kun and Okamura kun all in white dumping a whole bag of lime powder on her, getting their revenge. What the heck is lime powder? Like powdered limes? Revenge. それに、罠なんて、品のない言い方はやめてほしいですわね。より優雅に、トラップと呼んでほしいですわ。I don't know if trap is more refined. That being said, these two pretending to be tough, not only that, but standing still, completely blank and silent.、Uh, but anyway, ignoring what happened before, having someone chase you with their mouth full of lime in such a way that they can't even speak, yeah, that would be too scary even for Satoko. Our underclassmen crashed around the classroom in furious combat, getting white lime everywhere. Hey, Satoko, why couldn't you see this coming exactly? At the time, I hadn't seen something coming too, though the teacher coming to me afterward and giving us all a stern talking to. Well, I mean, that's understandable. <laughs> 